Okay, here we go. Going for, oh, I was doing an expert challenge, so let me turn that off. Going for a random, random, uh, yeah, random, random win streak. Uh, let's see if I can continue. Oh boy. This is the uh, Exiled Hellhorned, and I am not. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> and Plink, I is just a worse. I, I don't like Plink very much either. Like I'd rather have uh, Shade Splitters. Um, Volta Gauge. It's gonna make all these imps super expensive. Okay, so maybe I do the AoE Queen and I use this to keep her alive. Yeah, so with the Diligent, I kind of want to kill off those Blighters anyway. And now I can use some sort of uh, Gorger to be my kill floor. Even though I have Plink, Plink really makes this awkward. Yeah, I'm gonna hope for the best here. So these are dying. And then I'm gonna put this up here to just kill the, the collector. Okay. Yeah, they're dazed, so that's good. Um, I think again. Let's just get some health, I guess. Now, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like this happens before I gorge, which is good. Well, there's no reason to burn that. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, oh, it's twice. That's right. Okay, let's do this. Okay, they're dazed, so if I do this, it's going to kill the back dude. I guess I might as well get morsels. Okay, I'm going to just grab more imps because I need it to power my stuff, but Branding right. Put branding right. I desperately need more morsel generation. Shadow Siege. Do I gamble on Shadow Siege? I have zero way to get it out in multiple aspects. But this is not the Gorger I was looking for. I'm gonna gamble on Shadow Siege. This is also not the Gorger I was looking for. Ugh. Okay. The Plink, this might be important. Multi-strike. Just give it some little extra boost there. 
Okay, so 10 armor. I can deal with 10 armor. Okay, so yeah, I forgot the armor blocks Plink too. Um, oh well, I'll have to deal with it. Should draw into some imps next turn. Let's. Okay, so these guys are gonna kill themselves, but not if I kill them first. About what I was expecting. Is this good? I don't I don't know. I guess this is good. I need to get endless on some imps. Is this the gorger I'm looking for? How does he live? I think I need something though, so maybe I just I have too much, like, it's gonna cost me way too much ember right now, but such is life. Okay, I think I can large stone this guy because I'm gonna just stick the morsel maker next to him and then I'll hold off for a better upgrade. Copy a card five times. I wish I had a better imp. Maybe I just get more imps though. I wish I had like a rage or an armor imp. But I think these will keep allow me to uh, respond properly to the waves like yeah see none of these are dazed except for that for example
sense where I hope that this passive scaling is enough. And it is. Okay. So I can randomly play a Shadow Siege if I get super lucky in turn one. gone all the way in this path yet, so I'm going to try it out. I am not going to try... 150 armor. I think... I think my queen is uniquely equipped to handle this. That's too bad. Actually, am I going to greet it? No, I'm not going to greet it. Like in these dazes. So, I lived one round, and that's really all I care about, right? Well, let's live two rounds. Is living somehow. I guess he just does a lot of damage. Um, okay. How do I make this guy live? I don't know. He needs another upgrade. Endless. I don't think endless is the way to make him live, because he lives except for boss combat. Endless on an imp, though. Let's do this one. So I can theoretically play Shadow Siege in the second cycle. Hoping for quick, actually. Um, I'm gonna. I know this might seem a little foolish, 
because I don't really play him, but I want him to be relevant if I do play him. I will have blights on the final fight. I think I do need to dig Ember in the next round. Or do I? Or maybe a card draw so that I get into my energy imp sooner. No, let's let's leave my damage. So this guy needs to get rid of his days and hopefully get some fuel this turn. Yeah, so it's a 8 out of 9 chance. Plink. Yeah, no morsels this turn or next turn. I might live through this. I don't think I want to gamble on. G oh, wait, these morsels are dying anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, definitely a rough fight. Um, I think I just my deck is too large. So I immediately pick up a card. use another unit upgrade but also what do I want to cut out? I wish I could cut out those dead weights but maybe maybe get rid of some of these Queen's Implings and a Train Steward. Yeah let's cut some, some cards. Where am I? Yeah. Maybe even a ritual of battle since I'm having a hard time having the ember to play it. Now let's. I will play these as I can. Um, let's get rid of one of the queen's implings. Ten damage is not super relevant, and I have enough imps for the most part. No, let's get rid of a plink. Let's upgrade one. 
<laughs> we'll consume. No. Let's make this one free. And let's reduce the price of... Yeah, I, I want free spells so that I can play out my three cost things rather than having two cost things. I think... There should be a target for that most of the time. Hello, this is me from the future. This is the second time it's happened where on ring six, my audio just gets super choppy um, and then it gets better later in the video. So I don't know what's up with that, but I'm just gonna try to Remember, do uh, one review from for this part of the, f the run. And after the last fight, like I realized that um, Morsel Maker is kind of a huge tempo hit in the top floor with the days, and it not summoning morsels for like two turns. So I wanted to try having the champ perform cleanup after instead of preemptive cleanup here, and then that left a middle floor open for the Shadow Siege. Um, cause I, I didn't know when I was going to draw it, but, uh, I could get it as soon as turn two. Um, I didn't get it in turn two, but, uh, I, I wanted to leave that option open since it kind of solves this fight at least. Um, it's working pretty well cause the day still protects the, uh, alloyed construct. Um, I mean, I am letting some stuff get through like this uh, middle floor is not really being dealt with right now but I think I was it was gonna be tough to do that no matter what so I have lots of ember now which is good because I have this calcified ember to play I'm just trying to decide where to put it. I decided to put it on the bottom uh, because I'm doing a bunch of damage on top in fact I'm enough to kill the guy And obviously the middle floor wouldn't do anything. Um, so, yeah, I, I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm deciding between playing the Ember and playing the Imp here. And the Ember made more sense. I didn't really want to save it because it's so expensive. I was mainly wanting that so that the Scourges, or the Blights in the last fight, work. This gives me some more fuel. And letting some stuff through. But with three imps, it's all good. That endless ember imp is really, really helping out. Not quite killing the boss here, and it's going to be tough to finish it off with a queen. But. It is getting pretty low, so I might be, at this point I'm thinking maybe that um, the three attacks with the imps and will bring it low enough that I don't die. But then I finally get the shadow siege and it's all good. So good timing on that Shadow Siege, uh, uh, I guess. I, any time in the fight I could have played it though, so it did come pretty late. Um, and One Horn's Tome, I don't really have a way to defend, um, like the deal with the Fragile. And here, like I debated in my head for a long time because uh, I have a lot of problems with Ember early in the fight, but later in the fight it's kind of irrelevant because of the endless the imp that gives me Ember. Um, capacity is a minor issue, um, not really, like, it's only a, a problem that I can't choose what floors to set up on, uh, so really I think the card draw is the, what I ended up with, I, I stand by that decision, because 
Um, that way I draw into my ember solution sooner and I am more likely to be able to play the, uh, the cards when I need them. I do want to cut cards um, here. I just, I'm not sure what to cut. Uh, so I'm more likely to get the stuff I need, like to get that Shadow Siege out sooner, to have um, morsels. Yeah, a lot of these fights have come down to not having fuel for the alloyed construct and then not having imps on the right turns. So I'm trying to cut out turns, just cut out cards so I have both fuel and imps every turn. And then, yeah, permafrost on Trout Spike. Because I have the endless Ember Imp, um, it could be a, a really powerful turn for that. Um, but I don't always have the right morsels. Uh, so I wanted to just not have to wait for the, the perfect combo of, of when to play it. And yeah, I. Rally is tempting here because I do play a lot of imps, but I think just having the higher base damage and doing AoE is more important because the double tank, the single tank waves are covered by the allied construct. So it's the double tank waves that I was really worried about. So doing more damage to both of them seems helpful since the construct has multi strike. And the small floor is in the middle, so I debate um, setting up in the middle, but uh, these guys do so much damage that the daze is pretty important. And the small floor with the allied construct is not as big a deal. I, I barely ever play morsels there anyway. Yeah, so now I can play the Shadow Siege next time I draw it. Just debating on whether I want to play an imp down there, but I do because the backliner wasn't dazed. And yeah, lots of fuel, so fuel is no longer an issue and it meant I did a good chunk of damage to that Lightwing. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think about, oh, I was just gonna draw into the Pyre Chomper again there. I was hoping for something else. Yeah, open the box and get a transcend imp, which is really good. Sort of. Uh, it's just going to do a bunch of AoE damage and generate a bunch of ember that I can't use. But I didn't really want to wait for another cycle of it to have it be better, since there's only two waves left. And that kills this wave, which is pretty good for uh, the allied construct to have a little bit of a reprieve. And that was kind of a huge mistake that I just made. So I, I put a morsel on the top floor because I didn't want to have it clogging up my hand. But now I can't play the Shadow Siege up there. And I, I realized that on this turn. So I, I just hope to draw into my um, Entumbra Assault in time. And I do. So all is well. And I, I'm not living here long enough to kill the backliners, which is very important. So I decided to chimp block with some morsels. Yeah, I don't think I lived through this. If those backliners lived, 
There's no way. Yeah, the construct's not killing, so I'm pretty sure even the Shadow Siege couldn't stand up to that. But it worked out. Um, so get a Transcendent, that's huge. Um, I don't have a variety, I mean, I don't have an Armor Imp, which would make it even nicer. I don't have a Rage Imp. But it's still uh, going to do a lot of damage. And it's just having a another source. Uh, so I decided to look for unit upgrades. Uh, the Mask of Penumbra was very tempting here. But I think that since my Construct's unupgraded and I'd r love Multi-Strike or uh, on the Shadow Siege or the Construct and Endless on the Transcendent and said it's worth spending the money in the shop rather than getting an extra card draw every turn because it would be basically the equivalent of a card draw every turn the Mask of Penumbra but it pays off I get Endless on the Transcendent so I'm gonna have massive amounts of Ember for that Shroud Spike which is gonna be permafrosted and I'm gonna do a good amount of damage to the frontliners to weaken them so I'm gonna give you to my past self audio gets better okay so I think well let's see what I get so I can play the shadow siege Endless Imp is good. I do think I want some fuel though, so I'm gonna... Burn a plink this turn. So I can play the rage. I think I do. I think I play up here. Burn it.
Okay, the question is, do I want 16 damage morsels, or do I want 16 health morsels? I think damage. I should have made it so I do do this next turn. But it worked out. Another close one, barely killed the boss, and yeah, I didn't have enough higher health to do much. I, uh, I do think having the multi-floor strategy is what you want to do with this champion, but I still don't think I'm very good at using it. I think that was the first time I made it all the way through that path. So I have all the paths now. Um, well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please consider subscribing and liking the video if you did. So uh, I'll see you next time.